And Mr. Chairman, I'd like to just take a minute to make a couple of comments. Mr. Silberdick, I wish he had stayed for a minute because he made some very uh, pertinent information there, and I, and I agree with him 100 percent about the Warren articles. And we went back and did some research to make sure whether we were timely with the budget, co budget committee or not. 2007, the Warren articles were first discussed in the budget committee on 1-9, January 9th. 2008, 1-8, they were first discussed. 2009, 12-4. 2010, 1-14. 2011, 1-13. 2012, 112, 2013, 110, 2014, first discussed on 19, January 9th, only two articles discussed, 114 and 121, appears to be a tally votes. 2015, first discussed on 18 and 115. So we went back and did the research to make sure that we were not holding up the budget committee on anything and that we were getting it to them in a timely fashion and because we don't want to hold them up. The other thing I want to say, Mr. Chairman, is that, you know, some of the comments that are made, that are being made from the Budget Committee are giving misinformation to the public. You know, had we received our budget requests and Warren articles in a timely manner, none of this would be scrambling for dates now, changing the dates of the Budget Committee meetings. Not necessary. Uh, and I also want to make a comment that I think is very pertinent that one member of the Budget Committee, the chairperson of the Budget Committee, on Tuesday, last Tuesday's meeting, at 2 hours, 16 minutes, and 19 seconds into the meeting, people can go back and look at the video, stated, if the selectmen are going to stick their hand in the taxpayers' pockets. To me, that's implying that the, tax, that the selectmen are doing something dishonest. And I think it's totally inappropriate for a member, an appointed member, of a ta official town committee to making comments about <coughs> other boards and such that they're implying that they're doing something dishonest or at least trying to trick the taxpayers. If Mr. Silberdick wants to come in and make those statements, fine. It's an individual. But another, there should be a decorum between the budget committee and the selectmen between all committees. I would like to suggest, and I would like to make a motion, that the selectmen write a letter and send it to the chair of the budget committee. And I would like to have it included in our minutes, and I will make that motion. To say? To say what? To say uh, that this statement, if the selectmen are going to stick their hand in the taxpayers' pay pockets, is a totally inappropriate and uh, inappropriate statement to be made between boards. We could add a little bit to it. I second that motion. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brian, I would just add that yep. um, and, and we're, on the, we're on it and hopefully it clears for the evening. And uh, I thank Mr. Silberdick for his interest in, in uh, the uh, town financial matters. And he, and he does uh, carry a lot of water running the uh, uh, trust fund and that's, that has performed well uh, over the years. Um, and it's uh, uh, the appointed official, uh, and I, I emphasize appointed official, that is uh, um, Madam Chair Wolseley, and uh, of course Regina Barnes took that seat in an election and uh, is now sitting with us and we're proud to have her. But uh, the chairperson of the Budget Committee is appointed and is not elected by the people of Hampton. Uh, during uh, her last tenure as a selectman, I asked her to uh, have her email blocked from my account because she continuously, and up until this date, and there's emails right here, violates uh, uh, what would be the appropriate uh, term? She, she copies everybody, and it's essentially holding a meeting. Uh, town council has briefed all of the boards and committees in this town about that. But she sends out emails consistently. Last week, I believe, I spoke to you, Mr. Welch, sure. to have her uh, email blocked <clears throat> from my account. I do not want to participate in activities that are illegal by statute in the state, state of New Hampshire. I would encourage anyone that's receiving these emails from uh, Madam Wolseley uh, to not uh, not accept them because it is a violation of, of state law. And they are myriad, they are ongoing. She does not listen to the town council. She doesn't listen to the town manager. She won't listen to the statutes. And uh, she continues up until this day, up until this week, to violate that state law. So I just wanted to raise that issue if we're going to uh, air our laundry 
as, um, as um, perhaps Madam Mosley wants to do. Um, I just wanted to add that on the record that there is a continuing violation of essentially uh, meetings being held online with a town asset with town email accounts, and I want no part of it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay.